Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Windows Quick Assistant and what that'll do is it'll allow you to either view or control somebody else's desktop uh, with your computer without having to use something like Remote Desktop which you can only use with Windows Professional or having to install something like VNC Viewer, that type of thing. So, this, like I said, it comes with Windows and if you don't have it you should be able to go to the Microsoft Store and download it and install it. So what we're going to do is we have this Windows 11 computer which is going to be controlled and viewed by this Windows 10 computer so this guy is going to help out the other guy in other words. So what you got to do is you need to have the uh, quick assist going on both computers so I have this open here. Let me make this full screen so we can see it. So the person who's going to assist will have to send a code to the person who's going to be assisted and then that way they could put that in and then allow the uh, other person to take control. So let's go to the Windows 10 computer since that's going to be doing the assisting and take this full screen here. Okay, we'll search for Quick Assist. Okay, so this person's going to give assistance. So you just click on Assist Another Person, and it's going to generate a code here. And if you're not signed in, you're going to have to sign in. Okay, so then here's the code, and it's got 10 minutes to, before it expires. So 681.178. So we put that in over here. 681.178 and click on share screen and then we have to go back here and now it says connecting okay so now there's take, take full control or view depending on what you want to do if you just want to have watch them do something or if you want to do something yourself so I'm going to click on take view control click on continue And now we have to go back to the other computer. Hopefully this is not getting confused in, you know, doing two computers on one. So this one wants to be allowed to uh, see your files and control your computer. So we say allow. Okay, now it says screen sharing is on. If we go back to this computer here, make this full screen. So now you can see we're on the Windows 10 computer looking at the Windows 11 computer. We could, you know, open files. You know, move things around, whatever else we want to do. And then over here you have some options. So if they have more than one monitor, you could pick that. Annotate, actual size, but if you do that, depending on your screen resolution, it might be too big. Toggle instruction channel. Open the task manager on that computer without having to do a control alt delete. So if something's having a problem, it's an easy way to try and kill the process here. Oops. And we have pause and stop. And if you click on this, it'll show you the uh, details under each one so you can see what that is. So, like you said, it's pretty simple to do. Um, nothing much else to show you except now you know, this one's controlling. And if we go back to the other computer that's being controlled, you can see it's, it's sharing is on. They could pause it. And then also, uh, what is this one here? Send a message. Just like that. And of course they could stop it on their end too if they want to kill it like that. So it's been ended and now it's been ended on this side. So once again just uh, do a search for quick assist. Make sure you're signed in then decide if you're going to be the helper or the helpee and then generate the code and you'll have to you know call the other person or text it to them whatever so to give them the code and then you'll be able to control their computer. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.